Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxi. Let's look at the problem 33 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is DC circuits. There, we need to determine the magnitudes and directions of the currents go through the R1 and R2. Now we can look at this circuit. As we can see, we assume the current I1 goes through the R1 right, pointing to the left. And the current I2 goes through R2, pointing to the left. Now you can see in this circuit, there are two batteries, so it looks a little bit difficult to solve it. But we have Cherhoff's loop rule to do that. So first of all, we can draw a first loop. This is from the V3, goes through the R1, then goes through V1, then come back until clockwise. As we can see, for Cherhoff's loop, the voltages should equal to zero, right, for a complete loop. So we can say, first of all, we look at battery V3, so we write it there. So V3 is there, the battery offers the voltages, and then this current goes through the resistor R1, making the voltage decrease, right? So minus I1 times R1, and then plus the second battery V1, right? The battery just increases the voltage, and then goes to this uh, uh, start point. So this loop equal to zero voltages. And another way we can draw another loop, the more easy way to draw the loop, we look at this uh, loop, right? We can see we can anti-clockwise go through from V3 to R2 and then go back. This is another complete loop. So this one we can see we have V3 and then the go through resistor R2 make the voltage decrease. So minus I2 times R2 equal to zero. There we can input the given quantities V3 as 6, R1 as 22, R, um, and also R2 as the 18 v1 as 9 so you can see there are two quantities two equations so very easily you can solve this equation and get the answer there thank you